Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead and pat yourselves on the back. What you are about to undertake is revolutionary in the corporate world, in the educational system, and in society as a whole. You, as employees of a public school system, are about to be a part of a program that is going to lead to a healthier, a happier, more efficient educational system that will be the role model for other school divisions and corporations across the Commonwealth. My name is Christopher Lindsay, and I am the current president of the New Kent Educational Foundation, and I'm a proud 2002 graduate of New Kent High School. As I look around the room today, I see a lot of familiar, friendly faces. A lot of, a lot of you uh, were my teachers, and I have a lot of fond memories and a lot of great influence from you, so for that, I thank you. I'm speaking to you today not only as the product, excuse me, the president of the New Kent Educational Foundation, but as someone that has a bit of experience in the world of health and wellness. As an EMT and a medic in Henrico County with the Tuckahoe Volunteer Rescue Squad, I've seen what little or no insurance can do to a family. While in the paramedic school at VCU, which I've recently been participating, I spent a lot of time in the emergency room dealing with families that use that as their primary care physician because they simply can't afford health insurance. On the other side, I've spent six years as a broker in the health insurance world, and every year I work with families and individuals who are struggling to pay for their health insurance. In my years in the health insurance world on the other side of the emergency medicine, I've seen firsthand the rising cost of health care and what those effects can be. In my experience, one of the only things that will have a major impact on curbing the cost of health insurance is a dramatic decline in the major claims that insurers are forced to pay for. Now, of course, many of these are unpreventable. But the majority of them, up to 70%, are directly related to lifestyle choices. Heart disease, stroke, obesity, preventable cancers, diabetes, depression, the list goes on and on. I fully believe that a cultural shift has to occur in order for us as a society to get our health care system in check. Your superintendent, Dr. Richardson, the school board, central office staff, they have committed the resources to combating the health care crisis that is occurring not only in New Kent County, but currently across the nation as a whole. Now you're probably wondering, why is the Educational Foundation co-sponsoring a wellness program? It's because we realize that a teacher who is engaging in regular exercise, eating a nutritional diet, taking advantage of preventative care plans, not smoking, taking measures to reduce stress, is going to foster a much more advantageous learning environment. Teachers engaging in these programs that we're about to discuss will be role models for the students. And those students will in turn implement those same ideas into their own lifestyle. And it is this educational piece that we believe will eventually lead to a healthier and more efficient school system. We as a foundation are committed to fostering a competitive, active atmosphere where you as educators can excel. That's why we sponsor a basketball tournament every spring. That's why we support a bowl-a-thon every fall, which many of you participate in. And by the way, our board members will be in your meetings this afternoon to sign up teams for that, so, so be looking forward to that. And that's why we're helping to sponsor the program which is next on the agenda and a key part of New Kent County's wellness initiative. The gentleman is about to come up to tell you about the key component, Walk Fit Nation. It's facilitated by Healthy and Whole. New Kent Public Schools is going to be the first school division in America to become a part of the Walk Fit Nation. Now, what is Walk Fit Nation? Well, my friend and partner in wellness will introduce that in just a second, but I'm here to introduce him. Many of you know our guest is the fastest man in the NFL. Seven Pro Bowls, two Super Bowls, 20 years as a Washington Redskin, and a 2008 inductee to the National Football League Hall of Fame. If you remember his Hall of Fame induction speech, you'll remember that he said, and I quote, I belong here. <laughs> if any player ever belonged in the NFL Hall of Fame, it's Daryl Green. Not only because of how he played the game on the field, but more importantly, how he represents himself off the field. He's continued to be a role model to young people across America with his wellness initiatives through WalkFit, his work with the Daryl Green Youth Life Foundation, and the hundreds of other initiatives that he's been a part of. Daryl Green has used his fame to have a very positive influence for change in our communities. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my distinct honor and privilege to welcome to New Kent County Mr. Daryl Green. Now, no matter what 
shoes I wear. I'm walking for my health. So how much exercise is that? That's where Walk Fit Health Nation comes in. This high-tech pedometer is tracking my every step and reporting back to my computer. How active are you? Do you exercise every day? You can think twice before taking the elevator. With Walk Fit Health Nation, you will. I know how far, how fast, how many calories, and how I'm stacking up against my friends and coworkers. The older I've gotten, and because I've gone through a total knee replacement surgery, uh, walking has become so integral to my health and has really become a major portion of my exercise activity. At Walkfit Health Nation, we understand that sometimes you need that little extra push, whether you join a group and compete with coworkers, family, or friends. Or if you prefer to maintain your privacy and compete with yourself, you can set goals and track your progress. The Walkfit Health Nation has many health benefits. It improves your mood, reduces stress, lowers cholesterol, blood pressure, and your chance of developing heart disease. I have a high blood pressure, and what I'd like to do is lose some weight so I can help uh, moderate that and uh, take care of offsetting some of the late onset diabetes, things of that nature that you get when you have that. The Walkfit Health Nation is a web based portal for walkers like you to bring support and encouragement anytime. You'll love it. You can see your friends, you can join groups. I mean, I see people every day on the site where I'm like, I do not know who that is, but they are killing me in steps this month. Walkfit Health Nation puts the we in global well-being. For less than 25 cents a day, you can walk to better health. Click the sign up button now and join the nation. Well, thank you and good morning. Good morning. All right. Well, I'm glad to be here. I want to thank uh, Dr. Richardson, uh, Mr. Christopher Lindsay. Uh, your principal, Mr. Jones, and uh, Vice Principal Chris Bell Draghi, if I've said his name right. Uh, it's just been a, a great uh, welcome this morning. I've had a lot of fun. I've got a chance to speak with the, some of the students here at this school, uh, athletes. Uh, and that's after waking up about 5.30 this morning. So I'm feeling good. Y'all feeling good? So, I'm glad to be here, and I'm really, I'm hosted by uh, Christopher Lindsay uh, and the foundation, uh, obviously, and Dr. Richardson, and also uh, uh, Candace and Everett uh, Fox of Healthy and Whole. They are uh, a part of this health initiative uh, in helping sort of pull this whole thing together. Uh, healthy and Whole specializes in wellness, both individually and corporate wellness. Uh, personal training, weight loss, weight management, all of the, the above. And uh, so that's how I got here today. I'm really pleased to be here today uh, to be a part of what's going on here. Uh, walking. So uh, I, I look good, y'all. <laughs> I'm, I'm 52 years old. When I, <laughs> when I retired from football, 42. And man, that's 10 years ago. And I could run very fast back then. <laughs> <laughs> but now, my brother in Texas, who is a high blood pressure repressive person, my sister just turned 59, retired 31 years of postal service, and I. We walk every morning. They walk in Texas at 6 a.m. I walk in Virginia at 7 a.m. And every day we walk one, one hour to start. As I said on there, we're walking for our health. I think they say that some 40 some million people have started to, since 2005, have begun to walk, think about walking as their number one health physical fitness activity. I'm not against going to the health club. I'm not against any of those other things people do. <clears throat> but I found for myself, I played football for 20 years for the Redskins and um, it was, it was, 
it was it was it was interesting, and it's still in many ways it still is because you know I was used to running in the off season twice a day. I went over to George Mason twice a day. Every you could my wife and kids could could judge it by their clock, by where what time was I was either on my way to George Mason, I was training at George Mason, or I was on my way home. You could I mean that's what I did my whole life. You, you can't play in the NFL at how many of you have said when I walked out, man, I didn't know it was so small. <laughs> Say enough if you said that. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <clears throat> so now you know why I was running so fast. <laughs> the problem was I was supposed to run to these guys. I would have liked to have run away from them, but I couldn't catch that well. So I couldn't catch the ball, so I decided to run after him. But, but when I got out of that, it, it's just not feasible physically, time-wise, and all the rest to try to do what I do, and I just can't do it. And so this is authentic. Some years ago, at the age of 39 years old, I had my first colonoscopy and endoscopy. <clears throat> I created this program called Join the Green Team Against Colorectal Cancer. Not because it was just something to support and advertise, but because when I had that, I needed to have it, and I wanted to make sure that I can share that with other people. And I've had people come up to me in person and say, man, I'm so glad you did that. I saw the commercial. I went, got checked. Man, they caught mine just in time. And when my wife's father passed away, probably, I guess, 05, somewhere like that, from cigarette smoke, I got my mother-in-law, all of the brother-in-law, sister-in-laws, all of our kids, and we, we created a quit smoking campaign that ran for about eight years, six or eight years on television because that was important to us to help other people and, and to ask my mother-in-law, you know, would you... Would you participate in this? And she said, yes, I will. And when I turned 50 years old <clears throat> in 2000, I was like, man, now this is different. 50. And I created in concert with the Nova Health System in Northern Virginia, the Fit for 50 program, which basically uh, is doing similar to what Healthy and Whole does. Just giving you information and helping you create programs and supporting you in that. And then, all this stuff is so authentic. I was in the Philippines with my church, and some of my buddies from Tennessee came, and I was asking them, and they're a little bit older than me, hey man, what do you guys, what do y'all normal models do? What do y'all regular folks do? And he said, man, we walk. And so the way I do it is I go online, I start researching Man, is this the best thing? Is that the best thing? And you know what? It's the best thing you can do. I love it. And people run by me every morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this. I'm like this for one hour. And I'm going, I got about five places that I walk in that area. And I'm going to stick with it. Because I look good. <laughs> And my legs feel good, my knees don't hurt. I feel good. Blood pressure, I'm not on blood pressure medicine. All of the other green siblings were, except the two that's in the walking, it works, it helps. And so I wanna show you just a few of the features of the Walk Fit Health Nation. Everything is not for everybody, but as we start here, this is your home page right here. Well, that's my brother. This is my brother right here in Texas. The first one, he's a top stepper right now. So at any given time of the day, there's eight people that will show up on the front page. So he's first at 9,400 steps. And I'm nine, number nine at 2,300. And that's just from walking here around this place here. And that's all passive walking. 
Some of you teachers, coaches, and so forth, and administrators, you walk three or 4,000 steps a day here. However, if you have a dog and you come with him and you let him out and just to go, he knows, well, we're not really doing anything right here. But when you get the leash, he go, oh, 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 we're going walking. So when I finish my passive walking at work, and I put on my shoes, and I, my heart, my mind, like my dog, realize, hey, we're getting ready to go do this for real. It's important that you both benefit from both your passive steps, but you have to go and put, invest in active steps early in the morning or in the evening or somewhere at lunchtime. So the combination of 4,000 steps, the, the medical industry says 10,000 a day is the base. 3,000 uh, in passive walking at work, 7,000 at home for real is both physiologically and psychologically healthy for us. Make it live a long time. So if you do, as he did this morning, we get out and walk every morning, he's first place, and that changes all day. She showed you the list. And then also uh, on the first page, you'll see the top steppers for the whole month. And every month, as a matter of fact, we've just signed an agreement with the Hilton Worldwide. So each month, and you may not participate in this because some people are not motivated, 716,000 uh, steps for this person who's in first place. Between about 30 and 100 people will be put into a bucket each month, and each month, five people around the country will win a three-night stay, three stay at a Hilton hotel somewhere in the, in the world, in the country. We just got that agreement with them. So not only is New Kids the first partnership with the school system, but Hilton Worldwide is our first national partner as well for our prizes. But everybody's not motivated by prizes. Some people just want to do their own thing. But I like it because I like, in real life, how I help my sister in Texas. She actually doesn't have to take the medicine the way she used to take it. Because every day her brother, 1,500 miles away, was walking and encouraging her to walk. And that's what's important to me. All right, so as you log in, <coughs>
and I live 1,500 miles away. I've been married 27 years. I've been up here for 30 years coming up. <laughs> and some of you know what it's like to live away for 30 years, your whole adult life, and your parents pass on, and one of your siblings. You know, anything I can do to be, interact with them every day, and particularly as it helping their lives. I'm just grateful for that. I really am. Uh, let's look at, uh, so as she, as she mentioned, you don't have to, but you can't have friends. So you don't have to do friends, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know what that joke is. <laughs> that's an inside joke right there. So that's my brother right there. I can click on him and, and interact with him. So I, you know, it's really important. But I think that for you, um, I trust that all of you are going to participate. You all have been privileged with the opportunity to participate. And I only want to talk about the health care healthcare costs. Costs, I mean, things are costing just, it's just crazy. But just like we try to use strategic moves in terms of uh, 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 riding together, you know, sharing rides to work to save gas, we try to, you know, do things going green at our house and changing our windows. We do all these things in the same way we can be strategic and smart and taking care of our bodies. And for those of you who are younger, who are not 50 or above, don't wait. You don't have to wait. And so fortunately, Dr. Richardson, uh, Mr. Lindsay, uh, those people who have pulled this together, uh, believe that WalkFit is a simple and fun way uh, to give you an opportunity to participate. You will create, uh, if, if I guess that's what you guys are gonna choose, you're gonna create groups. You can have groups, you can be in the group or not be in the group. And I'm hoping that you're gonna have prizes. Uh, most of our companies, we have you know the prize with the uh, Hilton, but hopefully some of your local restaurants and so forth will throw in prizes. And, and, and I think that it's not wrong I'll just digress real quick and say, you guys remember uh, the guy that's in, uh, uh, the, the guy that got in trouble with the New Orleans Saints for paying guys to hurt guys? Yeah. Well, I'm not with that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, Coach Gibbs, if you saw the Super Bowl this year, at the end of the game, the Giants had the ball, and they told the running back to fall down so the clock would run out, but he didn't. They didn't want Tom Brady to get the ball back. But they got the ball back, and so now the Giants had to kick off to them. And in those moments, the coaches would say, hey, we're going to give $50 for the person who makes the tackle inside the 20, not hurt the guy and kill him, but who makes the tackle. Now, the guys were making substantially more than $50. <laughs> human nature on the, on, the, on the Monday morning meeting when Coach Gibbs would call you up there and they showed a video where you made this tap when he gave you your $50, you would have thought he gave you a, a billion dollars. We, we like prizes. I don't know what's with us. We like to win stuff. <laughs> you ever go to the basketball game where they shoot the t-shirts up there and people jumping all over the t-shirt? <laughs> So my attitude is this. The Walk Fit Health Nation is a tool. Some people like social media interacting, some are not as big on that. Some people like competing, and some of them are just overly competitive. Some people like winning prizes. Some people like, and here's what the data out of Stanford University said. It said if you use a pedometer, you're 28% is a huge study. 28% more likely to participate and do what you should do. A, and B, if you are able to set a goal. Let's look in the setting, goals and set. If you can set a goal, go to, yeah. If you can set a goal, uh, settings, go to the settings. Just settings right at the top. There you go. Goals. So if you set a goal, so my goals are at 10,000 a day, I'm 23% over here. My calories are, what are my calories? 800, 
My daily time, I want to do 180 minutes, I always blow that out the water, and five miles a day. Combination of passive and active. So if you're able to set a goal, use a pedometer, the data said it, not me, it was a huge study out of Stanford University. So when they built this system, this is all these things went into it. The idea of studying how people like social media, how people like a little FaceTime sometimes, how people like winning prizes if you set goals, and all, all that stuff went into it. So don't get mad if you don't like this part and this person like this part because it's, it's, it's not going to fit everybody. But I know one thing, everybody should walk. You may not be happy with everything. And ladies, oh ladies, uh, on the video you saw me put that on my shoe. You need to wear it as horizontally as you can. And it works by when the foot taps the ground, it captures your data. And you will have here in the school and different places what is called an access point. So when you come within uh, uh, 200 feet of that access point, which might be in the lobby, might be in the teacher's lounge, might be wherever, when you come within that access point, then it's going to grab your data. However, at home, and you do need to do this at home, at home you will be able to have that little access point in your home computer. And when you come within 30 feet, when I walk in the back door of my home, boom, there it is. And it grabs my data. So you come into the access point. And then lastly, <coughs> when you get, we will be, uh, you'll, you'll hear more about where we'll, where we'll move into next as you grab your, your information and your, and, your, and your hardware. You will have to go in and uh, put your, download your software. There we go, there we go, there we go. They always ask me if I ever had any concussions. I said, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> It's always a good excuse, though. So, that little act of me, <laughs> hey, ain't nothing wrong with me. <laughs> that little mini page.